Hello again, here's how I do my tartan designs. I'm using candy as a base because it's Christmas and it's the only red that is allowed in my nail room. Um, on a client, I'd always do two coats before going over the top so and then cure that for 60 seconds. Then I've decided to use Glossify Navy. It's so deep and rich. Um, I just absolutely love the depth of colour on it. So I'm just using my normal old striper brush. The longer it is, the better, and the thinner, the better you can get the sharper lines. So I've not got much product on my brush at all. And then I'm just going in with my design. If you're not used to doing tartan, I would definitely recommend having a bit of a plan before you start. I do tend to wing it nowadays. Um, and they, it always looks totally different every time I do it. I've gone for an uh, asymmetric design this time just so it looks a little bit different um the good thing with this as well is if you struggle to get your lines perfectly like vertical and horizontal do them angled because it takes away that pressure of them being perfectly vertical perfectly horizontal and it'll just take the pressure off you it's a bit easier to paint on a client as well because obviously they're not as easy as to maneuver as a tip um, I am twisting it as I do it, just so that my hand isn't in the way. Um, fully cure your bait, whatever colour you put on first, cure it for 60 seconds before you go in with your next one. You don't want any colour dragging. I've gone in with Daisy here. So I'm just making sure that I'm perfectly happy with my lines as I go. I never rush it because it'll look rushed. You want it to be as neat as possible. I tend to start my design and then I think, oh, no, my, I'll just add another one there. And then, oh, I'll add another one there. And it goes on and on and on. It's so hard as a nail tech knowing when to stop. Like, I could just add and add and add. So I have to restrain myself. So I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle to this. So I've gone in with rose gold. It's very, very metallic -y. Um, The glitter's... And the metallic colours don't sit as perfectly straight lined as obviously your, your flat colours. So I just take a little bit more time just making sure that I'm really happy with the line and the coverage. In fact, when I was videoing this, I had stopped and then I was like, no, I'm going to add another line. I just wanted it to look really festive colours. I've been wanting to do so many Christmas video tutorials and I've just not had the time. I need to be more organised and more prepared in life, don't I? And now literally Christmas is nearly here. As I go along, I, I am keep checking it from every angle that I'm happy with how it looks. Fully clean your striper brush every time as well. Make sure you've got no colour residue from the previous colour. So once I'm done, because obviously the lines cause a bit of ridges, I always tend to put a super thin layer of clear builder in a bottle over and it just levels it back out. So it's super thin. Just give it a few seconds to level and then I turn the hand upside down and it just gives it the natural apexy smooth surface that you want so then cure that for 60 seconds and of course always extreme shine over the top once you're happy stick that and cure that for 60 seconds and you are done tag me in any recreations you do you know i want to see them